Hello, and welcome to Cougar Talk. I'm your host, Tom Schultz. Today, our guest is Leslie Habilia. She is a choreographer for the play Journey of a Brown Girl, which opens in New York City in May of 2014. She is also a dance teacher at Dance Force in Edison, New Jersey. Leslie will appear in the Kane production of Macbeth next month. She's here to talk to us about her dance career. Welcome to the show, Leslie. Thanks for having me, Tom. Can you tell us about some of the dance work that you're currently doing? Well, right now, I am the artistic director for a company in New York, and we facilitate collaborations between artists. We try and put together workshops so people can learn about different forms of dance. Okay. I also teach locally, and I choreograph for shows whenever I can. That's great. So um, how do you manage your time between school and all of the various dance projects that you have going on right now? Um, I'm still trying to figure that out. It can be definitely tough at times. It involves a lot of penciling in and being able to be flexible and erasing. I use my planner. I live by it. Um, I don't know. I just try and like make sure I allot enough time to make sure that I can get whatever I need to do done and to kind of not stress, which is hard to do. But. Okay. So you're a psychology major yes. at Kane. Uh, how did you get into s psychology when you're so focused on dance? Well, personally, psychology has always been an interest to me. So when I went to school, I decided I really wanted to take up something that I'm interested in. And what I realized, actually, that psychology is very related to dance in terms of the way movement can make you feel, or arts in general, that the, the effect that they have on the psyche and how people can interpret things different ways. I think that's really interesting to me. It is interesting. So how did your passion for dance develop? Um, actually, I began dancing ever since I was little. I was eight, and my mom put me in those, like, studios where you're like you bang a tambourine and you just run around and you look cute and you're a leotard um, <laughs> but I started dancing professionally or started studying to dance professionally at the age of 12 and ever oh, wow. since like then I, I've been taking classes like every day and it just kind of grew and grew and now my passion for dance is more about being able to connect with people so it's I would say more than ever before what was the most difficult part uh, when you started dancing I'd say the most difficult part difficult part um, was Learning to uh, not be insecure, dancing can put you in a very vulnerable place. It's a performing art, okay. you know, in front of people, but still working on that now, but it's still probably the hardest part. Uh, n what would you say is the hardest part about um, choreographing a show, and how did you learn the skill of choreography? Well, so learning choreography is something that's very difficult to do because it's very personal, the process to each choreographer. So for me, what I did was I when I danced for choreographers, I would kind of just pick up whatever their process is and take whatever I think would work for me. Okay. And it's always, I think the hardest part is probably keeping the goal in mind and making sure that the objective is achieved. And when there's lots of people involved, like when I'm choreographing for a show, mm -hmm. that can be a little bit, you know, confusing. But Well, aside from dancing, you also act. So what, um, what got you into acting? Well, I acted often when I was younger and like small shows and musicals and stuff but lately I started taking classes acting classes actually here at Kane and that's what okay. got me interested in acting and I find it really exciting it's actually very similar to dance instead of not instead of using just your body to tell a story now you can use your voice and I think it's really interesting and I'm excited to pursue it further okay do you do you think that you'd like to pursue acting more so than either dance or psychology or um, I actually my goal at some point is to meld all of them together. Okay. I think that performing arts, especially drama and dance, can be very therapeutic for people either with special needs or suffering from terminal illnesses. So I, at some point, would like to bring them all together. Okay. And um, you said that you were going to be in the Macbeth, the yeah. Kane's rendition of Macbeth. What part will you be playing in that? Um, I, pay, I play a couple small parts. There's lots of people. There's not a lot of women in the play, so I will be just a, a boy. <laughs> I'm a young boy, and then I'm a servant, and then I play a ghost apparition of sort, some sort. I don't know. Okay. Come see it, and then you'll see. I definitely will. And uh, do you have any advice for s students who are trying to, you know, balance things like, like you do um, here at Kane? Um, I would say the most important thing is to make sure you engage yourself in things that you want to do, things that interest you. It's hard to make yourself stay organized and on top of things if you just aren't into what they are. Um, and find something that motivates you in order to keep your schedule and your life, I guess, together. That's great advice. Well, that's all the time that we have today. I'd like to thank our guest, Leslie, for joining us today. Of course, Tom, thanks. And I'd also like to thank you for watching this edition of Cougar Talk. I'm your host, Tom Schultz. We'll see you next time.